Michael Kemmer, ranked number one, versus Mark Hall, ranked number two. The last time they met, they were one and two the other way, and Mark Hall was upset in Iowa City. That's his only loss to this man, Michael Kemmer. Take a look at the matchup here between these two guys in the duel, and Michael Kemmer, just a straight line, linear wrestler. You can see how he's moving forward all the time, right? Dropping in. You know, Mark Hall has a nice duck under, wide square stance here, gets a lot of offense, scores off other people's uh, shots, beautiful cradle setup, good with upper body. You know, it's just a great style matchup between two ferocious competitors. And here's how they got here. Number one seed, Michael Kemmer, coming through pretty darn easy to the championship line. Mark Hall got packed a very tough Dylan Whitey from Purdue and is in the championship for the rematch. Kemmer versus Hall, one versus two. Here we go. Well, the one thing that was that's different about the last match is that that the emotions of that duel at that point in, in Penn State, Iowa, were just just off the off the charts. These two are coming into probably an equal emotional state right now, where where Mark Hall just came out in the last match like he's fired out of a cannon here, came with hard double underhooks and hit a beautiful throw, but he actually Stay threw too throw. hard and put Kimmer past his back, and it rolled into Fingers. a neutral, or he just didn't Fingers. get the back points on the position. But now he gets in on a leg on Kimmer. See if Kemmer can, uh, what happens here. Now he's going to work back up. No control. Ankle pass situation for both wrestlers. Advantage here for Hall. He's got his head up in this position. Can no he go control. ahead and free his leg out? Keeping his balance. Working back into no control. Hall, and he collects the points. So a quick takedown for Mark Hall. Six-time state champion out of Apple Valley, Minnesota. The first to ever win six titles in Minnesota. And the one thing I noticed about that duel, that Mark Hall was on his feet the whole time, cheering his teammates on. He was in every uh, emotional moment of that highly emotional duel meet. And uh, we know that uh, he's a cool customer, the three-time NCAA finalist. Neutral, we're neutral. Much calmer approach to this match. Three-time finals, he won the NCAAs as a freshman, has been second the last two years. He's a two-time Big Ten champion. Also, he's the 2016 Dave Schultz Excellence Award, one of the nation's most storied high school careers. World champion as a cadet. Michael Cameron out of Marysville, Pennsylvania, Franklin Region High School, same high school as Spencer Lee, or teammates, Eric Mosser, the head coach. And both these guys are big team guys, especially, you know, Mark Hall, Cameron maybe a little bit more of a quiet leader with Spencer Lee in, in the lineup kind of being the face of the program. But Mark Hall, you know, who I, I can't forget in my mind here the, the time that Bo Nickel got that pin in the finals. And the first guy that, that was so out there to that. congratulate him that. here was his teammate Mark Hall after he lost in the previous match. Uh, in the national Fingers. finals. I mean, he's a team guy, loves this program, and and uh, you watch this guy off the mat, you have nothing but respect for him. You look at Michael Kemmer, and that We're body sure. looks, oh, every bit of a 174 pounder. But what people Stay don't know chain. is he was a two-time All-American at 157 two and three years ago. Took a redshirt year last year, medical redshirt year, was injured, and um, he's hoping to get a sixth year. He's a senior, but he will petition for a sixth year because he Stop. lost an entire season to injury. Well, what we're seeing on display is the Great wisdom choice. of, of, of Hall coming perk. out here, relaxed, go on his right attack, go didn't put a lot of energy into that ride, knows that there's going to be a pretty right? strong third right. period. Starts, okay? And uh, is really doing a great job of holding position. Kemmer in the last match, you know, kind of got back into the bout by doing a little bit of riding. Improve. Hall already to his feet. And so this We're match neutral. is just totally going the other way as far as the pace is going. Pace is certainly favoring Hall. Now Kemmer gets on the leg. Good reaction by Fingers. Mark Hall on that outside low single. That last match gained Kemmer the Big Ten Wrestler of the Week and the USA Wrestling Wrestler of the Week. After that victory over Hall. One more time, Hall's in on that shot. Watch that. 
Three takedowns for Kemmerer in the last match. Takedowns are huge in this match. Right now, Hall trying to look for his second. And as he scrambles, he gets it. Count. Right there, there's the three count. There's two points. Two points. Now, he's gonna, now he's getting back points. He's got at least two, and he does. Wow. Good. Wisdom. Well, uh, Kemmerer was thinking he would hear the two points. He didn't hear. I think the official just held up the two. And so Kemmerer was sitting there not knowing the two points were given. And he gets two points, two back points against him. Now it's seven to one. Hall with a huge lead halfway through the second period. And nobody's arguing about that call. It no. was, a, it was a clearly passed a, a 90 degrees. The three count was given, offered up. Red, you're in, go you Red, improve. And Mark Hall surprising people with neutral. this domination so We're far neutral. in this match. 30 seconds left in the second period. Fingers, get out of that anyway, grip. You shouldn't be surprised about Mark Hall. <laughs> it's really good. No, it's a good Wrestle through that. not really surprised. You're just amazed. Wrestle through that. Wrestle there. Short time in the second period. Yeah, starts with a backpack here right now. He's, he's going to head, sits him back. Understands Danger, totally where he is. One, two, three, two, I'm not sure Kemmerer can hear that, but he can't move. So, so much to the point that he also gives up the back points. Improve. Big hole. Michael Kemmerer is in. Mark Hall has been dominant One, three, so far. neutral, neutral. In the first two periods. Stay out of those fingers, of fingers, get out of that. Near fall, escape. There's that shot, the Kimmerer, and there's no that control. beautiful switch off to a double, and he'll elevate no this uh, leg, try to shelf that. Look at the flexibility no and the control. strength of Hall. I mean, Kimmerer's having a difficult time no. of, of shelfing that leg. And now he's gonna go ahead and no come control. across, get in a roll through situation. No points yet. No control yet. We've got Nothing yet. And Hall is so tight right no there. Control. No control. And see the tape down. Two. So now seven. Three, to three control. Five. Three, one. Three, and one. want to break the riding time two. here. But, you know, can now get a good, neutral. clean escape. Neutral. neutral. And Kemmerer neutral. has to be on the attack. He was scoring late in the last match get as well. But. Mr. Poise, Mark Hall, always showing poise, never rushing, knows where he's at all the time. Center. Well, he, he's, he's going to measure Kemmerer's shot. He also knows that Kemmerer needs two red. takedowns, but red. he's given up a stall warning. 30 seconds left in the third yeah. period, a stall warning on Mark Hall. The next one will be a point for Michael Kemmerer. Boy, Mark Hall's wisdom in this match, just every tie. Kemmer does not feel like he can get his shot off. Center. Controlling it, measure it, feels it coming, circles back. Short time, a very strategic no match. Nothing yet. Even with this no takedown, if he, if uh, no Kemmer control. gets it, but Mark Hall's gonna stay in tight. He knows where he's at. No and Mark Hall for Penn State's going to get a third Big Ten championship. Workmanlike, dominant, impressive, Jim. It doesn't look like he's even breathing, you know. Great job. Beat a really good wrestler. You know, stayed on the offense, got that first takedown. You know, always get exhale after you get the first one, but then you know what? You got to get your engine going again. And this was the second takedown. Look at how calm Mark Hall is here in this position, and Mike Kemmerer cannot move. Disoriented by Kemmerer. Did he get back points? Yes, he did. Let's go to Shane, who's with Mark Hall. All right, Mark, you win your third Big Ten title against a tough guy like Kemmerer. What was the focus coming in? What was most critical in getting your arm raised? Uh, just wrestling hard, make the adjustments. Um, I don't know, it was a fun match. I went out there, just thought about glorifying God and uh, keeping my head on. You know, I feel like last time. It was an awesome duel, you know, you get caught up in things, and, you know, this time I'm just thinking, you know, God's gonna love me no matter what. 
How do you stay so poised? You've been in so many big matches around the world, the biggest of stages. Talk to me about the poise. Um, I don't know. That wasn't very poised, that third, third period. Um, there are things I'm gonna go back and work on again, and hopefully, uh, you know, keep that lead and uh, maybe build it next time. I just think um, giving up takedowns like that, that's not me, that's not how I wrestle. And uh, like I said, it's just like, the mindset, my body, my soul, let's give it all to God. You know, that's, the, that's my main focus for the rest of the year. Three-time Big Ten champion, Mark Hall. TJ?